In this video, we will demonstrate how to operate turn path on the in command display. Allowing turn path to navigate turns at the headlands of fields can increase the machine's efficiency and effectiveness, as well as reducing operator fatigue. For this tutorial, we will begin by selecting the guidance app from the home screen. When using turn path for the first time, certain requirements need to be met before turn path will function. Turn path unlock, field boundary, Z2 or steady steer, and an AB line must be established. The guidance line needs to be either straight or an identical curve. Once all the criteria are met, turn path will become available to use. The turn path default toolbox is now ready. Press the turn path on off button to start turn path. A triangular indicator shows the turning direction for the next target pass. The target pass number indicates the upcoming target pass. The turn path next turn button moves to the next available turn. The turn now button will immediately turn your vehicle toward the next target pass, regardless of your location in the field. The wrench button will open the turn path options window. Within the adjustment tab, the headland size, turn radius, overshoot, and boundary distance can be adjusted using a slider bar or via direct number entry. As these parameters are modified, the projected turn inside of the display window will adjust accordingly to provide a visual of the turn path operation. Headland is represented by the solid blue line. The boundary distance is the distance from the indicated turn to the field boundary line. It is represented by the dashed black line. Turn radius is typically one half of the implement width. The maximum speed value is tied to the size of the turn radius. Overshoot is how far the target pass will be overshot. With pull type implements, adding an overshoot will allow the implement to line up straight onto the target pass. The dashed blue line represents the path of the center point of the implement. Any parameter changes within the adjustment tab will be saved to the active configuration. In addition, the default values in this tab are a good place to start these settings. Within the Sequence tab, adjustments can be made to the turn path sequencing parameters. The Sequence Mode button is available on the main screen once it is selected within the Sequence tab. Sequences are a user-defined preset order of target passes to efficiently work through a field. The Sequence type can be selected. When following the alternate group sequence, after moving to the next group of turns, the turning direction will alternate from the original turning direction. When following the identical group sequence, all turns associated with all the groups of the sequence will be identical. The skip pass sequence is an efficient preset order to move through the field when the turn to the next pass is too sharp and one or more passes needs to be skipped. The harvest sequence is designed for the harvester to unload on one side of the vehicle over already harvested portions of the field. Other parameters about the sequence may also be adjusted for harvest. Within the Options tab, adjustments can be made to the turn direction, countdown distance, and initial turn options. Auto Flip Direction will automatically flip the direction of the turn based on the driving direction. Unchecking this option will maintain the current turn direction, and the user will be able to adjust turn direction and the target pass manually from the turn path toolbox. Countdown distance is the distance from the turn at which the user will be alarmed to the upcoming turn. Initial turn option is used when the guidance line has multiple encounters with the external boundary. Turn path will default to the first or last encounter with the boundary. Please note that no turn path will be generated on an internal boundary. The reset button in the adjustment tab will return all settings to their default state. Once all adjustments have been made and turn path is functioning, an upcoming turn will be executed by the steering system. This screen capture of the display will now run for a few moments so you may see turn path and a few of the presented settings in action. You will now be able to utilize TurnPath on the in-command display. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you would like to see more short tutorials from AgLeader.